Hello. In this video, I will show you various color tricks that you can make in LAB color model. Many users ask why there are no LAB curves in 3D LUT Creator. In this video, I will show you how to do the same things using AB Grid in 3D LUT Creator and why color grid is more convenient than curves. Let's start with this photo. Firstly, I'm going to demonstrate the Man from Mars technique from Dan Margulis. This technique uses LAB curves and allows you to increase color variability of an image if it has a color cast. That is, if this photo were neutral, I would just use saturation slider. But since the photo has a bluish tint, increasing saturation will make it even bluer. According to the Man from Mars technique, firstly, you need to convert an image into LAB color model. In Photoshop, this can be done via the menu Image, Mode, LAB Color. Then you need to use curves of the A and B color channels. The A channel in LAB system specifies the color as either a magenta or green hue. The B channel specifies the color as either a yellow or blue hue. So, you need to add a point to each channel curve right in the middle of the histogram so that the average color of the photo does not change. I'm going to do just that. Then, you need to move the top of the curve to the left until you get the desired color contrast. That's what happened. This is the original photo. This is the result I've got using Dan's technique. Now, I will show you how to do the same in 3D LUT Creator. I select LAB Color Model and switch to the square grid. I choose the grid size 16 and switch the eyedropper mode to LAB. As you remember, the A channel on AB grid goes horizontally. Here you can see how it changes. The B channel goes vertically. Upward, value increases. Downward, they decrease. On the A curve in Photoshop, I add a point in the middle of the curve so that the zero values of the A channel do not change. Now I will do the same with the grid the zero values of the A channel pass along this vertical line. So I select all the points on it and pin them. To pin the selected points, you can use pin all selected points command. That shape of the A curve increases the difference in colors. That is, magenta colors become even more magenta and green colors become even greener. I'm going to make the same effect using the color grid. As I need to affect the A channel only, I will again select vertical line of points and will move it horizontally. In this case, the B channel will not change. So I just did this part of the curve using the color grid. Now I'm going to pin those points. I'm going to simulate the green half of the curve. Now I'm pinning these points. Now I need to do the same with the B channel. I add the curve point that corresponds to the average color in the photo. The color distribution on the grid shows that all colors are distributed around this point. Therefore, I select this horizontal line and pin points on it. Now, I will move apart the horizontal lines that are above and below. I will lift these colors up. And I drop these colors down. As you can see, the results are very similar. Here is the original image. And here, is the result. Of course, you can say that I spent much more time working with the grid, but I did this only to make the effect on the A and B LAB channels completely independent, as in Photoshop. To do this, you could even align all these points. Now, the impact on the A and B channels is completely independent. How does this relate to curves? In the curves, the initial value is plotted horizontally, and the resulting value is plotted vertically. On the grid, the initial and resulting values are plotted along the same axis, but at the same time you can see both channels. Therefore, color grid can make all the changes that curves can make, but at the same time it gives much more possibilities than just curves. On AB grid, you can change values of one channel depending on another. For example, both blue sky and green grass have negative values in the A channel. Therefore, I cannot change them separately using LAB curves in Photoshop. On the grid, I can adjust the A channel depending on the B channel. That is, for blue color, the B channel is negative, 
and I can reduce the amount of green in this blue color to make it not so toxic. But for grass, where the B channel is positive, I can, on the contrary, increase the amount of green. I can even shift the zero values of the A channel to enhance this color. Such corrections are impossible in LAB curves. So in 3D LUT Creator, I got an even greater variety of colors than in Photoshop. Now I will reset all settings, switch to a square grid, and show another tool that allows you to increase color variability. In the top menu bar, there are tools for moving points, and there are tools for pulling and pushing points. I switch to LAB Color Model. I will use the Push tool. I can either click on the grid or I can click directly on the photo. So I get the color enhancement much faster than with curves in Photoshop. Also, on the grid, I can affect oversaturated colors separately and move them back to the place. So with a few clicks, I can significantly increase color variability of a photo. Here is before, here is after. Let's look at another photo. I will load it into 3D LUT Creator while this image is in RGB. In Photoshop, I convert it to LAB color. I will open curves. On A curve, I will add a point in the center and raise the left edge to the top. Thus, I turned all the colors containing green into their magenta counterparts. In order not to affect the initially warm colors, I will add some points here. Here's what I've got. Now, let's do the same trick in 3D LUT Creator. I work with the A channel, that is. I'm going to make all changes along the horizontal axis. First, I pin the neutral axis. And now, I can take the left edge of the grid and fold the grid in half. This is how this correction looks like on a color wheel. All green colors turn into warm colors. I simulated what I did in Photoshop using LAB curves. Now, if I want to add variability to the B channel using the same technique, I will strongly affect the skin, since orange and green have positive values in the B channel. In 3D LUT Creator, I can affect colors independently. That is, I can stretch only the green part of the grid. I can find leaves that vary slightly in color and reinforce these differences. Here's what I got. Here is the original photo, and here is the result. As you can see, the grid has much more possibilities for increasing color variability than individual color channels. Once again, here is before, here is after. Well, the last example with another interesting color correction. The trick is copying of the A channel to the B channel and vice versa. Unfortunately, in Photoshop, the channel mixer is not available in LAB mode. Therefore, it is necessary to do this destructively through the Image Apply Image command. I need to select the destination channel, that is, B. I turn off the other channels. Now I choose Image Apply Image. That is, the A channel of the original image is copied to the B channel. I click OK and turn on the visibility of all channels. Here's what I've got. Let's compare. Here is before, and here is after. This method allows you to greatly reduce the number of colors in a photo. It is something like two-strip technique. That is, all colors turn into blue or orange-red. Let's now see how to do this in 3D LUT Creator. I will use Square Grid. It is necessary to take the A channel, which is located on the horizontal axis, and transfer it to the B channel, which is located on the vertical axis. That is, in other words, where the A channel has a maximum, the B channel should also have a maximum. I take the lowest point where the A channel has a maximum and the B channel has a maximum, and I move it up. So, a maximum value of the B channel shifts to the right side of the grid. Now I do the same with the left upper point, where the B channel has maximum, and I need to move it down so that the B channel becomes equal to the A channel. I got the same result as in Photoshop. Let's see how it looks on the color wheel. 
my photo has become two colored. As you understand, the grid can be folded in other directions. But if I don't want to change the skin color, the orange color should remain orange. I can move the lower point of the grid to the left and the upper point to the right. I've got the second version. In this case, I copied the B channel to the A channel. I had the same pair of colors, but now the colors are distributed differently. Let's compare. Here is the copying of the B channel to the A channel. This copying looks unnatural because the lips turn blue. Here is the copy of the A channel to the B channel. Here, the skin color is much better. As you understand, I am showing how to perform the basic operations available in Photoshop using the grid. The grid itself is a much more powerful tool than just LAB curves or channel copying, and it allows much more than what I have just shown. For example, I can make a channel copy only for certain colors. Suppose I want to restore green and return neutral colors to its place. Here is the before and here is after. As you can see, image colors become cleaner because I reduce their shades. The blue and violet shades went away, but at the same time, greens remain. So, I hope I've answered the question why there are no LAB curves in 3D LUT Creator. That's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.